Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Love Works. I am Stella. We are going to do an all signs tarot reading, and in this reading, we are going to look at if you are going to hear from someone again. So, whomever you have in mind, it could be from way, way back or currently, either or. And we're going to dive into that. You can watch any placement. We're going to do Aries all the way through Pisces. If you would like a personal reading with me, my link is in the description box under the More tab underneath this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what's going on for Aries. Tell me about Aries. What's their, uh, I'm, I'm just going to get you a general message here first, and then we'll go into the specifics of if you are going to hear from this person again. Okay. What is the message for Aries at this time? Thank you. So we have, if you believe helpful people and unlikely, interesting. Okay. Let's see. So don't take this too literal yet and it's weird I really felt like to put that here so I'm going to stick with my initial instinct because that's what I was sensing okay so hold on let me take a look at this helpful people if you believe unlikely okay mm -hmm. all right let's clarify that right away okay tell me what is unlikely here interesting there may be another choice for you coming in that's like really like the right match. So in this case, this might be one of those instances of that like annoying phrase that, that we hear so much, but it is true that rejection is divine protection. Because I mean, I split the deck right here and it's like, this is indicating that there's possibly another choice and this one is more pure. Okay. So let's see, let me get the tarot. Let's see what's going on. All right. Will Aries hear from their person again? The one that is on their mind, will they hear from this person again? Keep in mind, this is a general reading and you know, there's, there's quite a few of you out there watching. So it doesn't, you know, if it resonates great, if it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be the end all be all, you know, that kind of thing. All right. So tell me about Aries, please person that they are thinking of, will they hear from them again? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, someone may be married. There's that. Okay. Or spending time waiting on this person to come around because you th thought maybe you were headed in that direction. Let's see. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So, yeah, see? Okay, all right. Definitely what I'm getting here is for you, Aries. The thing is, we don't have a no here. We, we have an unlikely. All right, so it's not a hard no. So there's a possibility you may hear from this person again, but it's, to me, pretty dang clear that this is not the one for you. Um, now, again, keep in mind it's a general reading. All right, so there, <laughs> there's that. Uh, however, we're getting that same message again. So I feel like instead of, like, waiting for them or waiting for... Uh, things to smooth out with them, it just feels like there's too much to overcome with this situation. And I feel like the, this is very clear saying there's like a new opportunity that that universe or divine spirit, what have you, is wanting you to focus on more. Whether or not that's around now, I don't know. I think it's more like this will come in once something is like let go of here. So for some of you too, like if you're not watching this for love, like if you're watching this for some other reason, all right, like work or, you know, like you're like, will that job opportunity come in or something along those lines? Again, there might be something where it's, it could come in, but it's unlikely that this is the position for you. Like there's going to be something better where you're not just a name and a number or just a number, all right, to this place. <laughs> Pardon me. So there could be like a really good, more golden opportunity that comes like soon, okay, is what I am seeing there also. But for most of you, I feel it is, you know, most of you are watching this to see about a connection, like a love connection. I feel like this person is 
most likely not going to reach out in the way that you would want, you know, as far as like, yeah, everything's good. Let's get back together, you know, or let's get together or anything like that. So I don't know. I feel like they are too involved in like other things in their life. So it just doesn't feel like they will come forward. Okay. So let's actually, let's get a little bit on what this is. Okay. Anything to tell about this? Um, wow. Right? What's going on with this Ace of Cups for Aries? Yeah, this person holds back their feelings. Like, they, they just don't... They don't express what's really on their mind or, like, what's really in their heart. So, it's... It's just unlikely that they would do like a, you know, 180 is, is what I think that card means. Okay. Uh, all right. So tell me about this Ace of Cups, please. Oh, okay. These just fell out. You know what? If you guys are watching this for career reasons, all right, like, am I going to hear from that job or am I going to hear from that, you know, something or other? Again, it may be unlikely that that is the position for you. I feel like there's something else for you that could be really, really good and, and more suitable to you. And it may have something to do with more of that, like, entrepreneur type spirit for you also. If it's not about work for you guys, then, and that's, that's really coming through though, guys. So, you know, maybe that's the message. Maybe sometimes when we are stuck in our lives or something like that, we think it's like a love situation or we think it's like unrequited, you know, we need closure with something, but sometimes it's really not about that. That sometimes just serves as a, a distraction to get to the real situation in our life, which is working on our like independence or our creative, creative purpose in the world or something like that. So this kind of reminds me of that kind of message. So basically I feel like, um, if it is love though, I mean, you definitely have a match here. I do think that there is something new coming in for you, but it does sort of require letting go of this other situation that is le less likely to um, come into fruition. Okay. So very nice, very nice reading uh, as far as like probabilities here, you know, for, for moving forward. Okay. So that is Aries. We're on to Taurus. Okay. Taurus, the one that you are thinking of, will you hear from them again? Now, these cards I'm putting out now are just sort of a generalized message. They may apply to the message or may not. They may, they, you might find something else in these, but we will get to the tarot for more specifics on whether or not your person, uh, you know, if you will hear from them again. Okay, so what is the message for Taurus, please? Ooh, wow, okay. You do have recovery. All right, so that could indicate like something could recover within the next few weeks. But again, I'm using this as a generalized message. So let's see. Wow. Okay, no need to worry. Don't stop. And within the next few weeks. And then you have recovery here. So something, a situation could recover, perhaps. Okay. So let's take a look at the tarot, though, as specific that, because again, this might be some other situation for you, although that looks pretty likely that it is about your situation. Uh, tell me about the one that is on Taurus's mind, please. Will they be back around? Will they hear from them again? Will they hear from them again? Taurus, please. Yeah, yes. There's a definite yes here. Abs oh my gosh. Look, King, Queen of Cups. <laughs> okay. So, yes, yours is a, a definite yes. I feel like your person possibly has gone, like, is going or has gone through some sort of phase here where um, something, like... 
I don't know. They might be an earth sign themselves. Because I, I feel like it's difficult for them to change like their plan of what they see. So in other words, they might have a little bit of like a controlling aspect to their personality. I don't get that they're like a super controlling narcissistic, you know, type vibe. Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not really getting that, though. I think this is more like when, like when something doesn't work out, they have a hard time being flexible or adjusting like their point of view. And that's what I see has been possibly like the crux of this situation. So, but yeah, I do feel this, they, this person will definitely be back around. They just may had to have dealt, you know, needed some things to like see clearer or have like a little time out or something like that. If there's been any type of <clears throat> like non, you know, incommunicado, you know, or something like that. Some of you, I don't know, maybe you have connected with this person already. So it's just reassuring that, yep, that will continue. Okay. Because, yeah, Page of Wands is a definite yes as far as will you hear from them again. And King of Cups going right into Page of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like they they may have had, like, something very burdensome to uh, to handle. It could have been work. It could have been moving. It could have been, like, helping somebody else or something like that. But it feels like they are clearing that energy so that they will have more free time to talk with you again, chat with you again, whatever is the, the crux or basis of your relationship. Okay. So yeah, there's a definite yes there. Let me get one advice card for Taurus then moving forward. So is there any advice then for Taurus moving forward? Okay. So you have self-love. All right. So just keep that in mind, right? It's like, you know, that is always good. And yeah, serendipity, allowing things to just sort of like not forcing anything and allowing things to like just kind of show you the way or, you know, like really listening to your intuition, allowing like synchronicity, a synchronous, I don't know how to say that word. Uh, I mean, synchronicity, but I'm trying to put it in a fancier way. Uh, signs, allow those types of signs to um, really like heed those, right? So don't force anything, anything like that. It's like really go with the flow right now and always act out of self-care and nurturing from self because then that will you know be what you are bringing to the table all right so yeah looks good uh, definitely yes on that all right okay gemini let's see what the message is for you we are just gonna going to pull a general message for you with these oracle cards these angel answer oracle cards and then we will get into the tarot to specifically see what the what comes out as far as will this person uh, be in contact with you again. Okay. Like, will they be back? Will you hear from them again? That sort of thing. Okay. So what is the message for Gemini's at this time, please? Okay. Remain positive. Choose a new direction and improving health. And that's the ace of cups inside the heart chakra there. Okay. Uh, let's see. So the choose a new direction, though, has two people in the card. So they're kind of looking for like a new North Star, right? It, like the North Star is guidance. So that's the metaphor of the card. So just possibly that's the new direction to move towards is more positivity. Visualizing, I'm noticing like that white light coming out of the like kind of third eye crown chakra area here too. So maybe that's the direction to choose more visualization in a positive way and improving the heart chakra also. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Okay, tell me about Gemini, please. The one that, wow. <laughs> So I split the deck at your card, Gemini, and we do have the chariot card, which is the card for cancers, but it's also a card of like, to me, that would be a yes right there if that comes out in the spread, because that's about like breaking free of obstacles and moving forward. Okay, but let's see. <clears throat> let's see what the tarot says. Okay, because it could absolutely be choose a new direction, remain positive, but you know, Choose, choose a different person to focus on or, you know, something like that too. So let's see what the cards say. 
tell me about Gemini, please. Will they hear from this person again? The one that is on their mind. Will they hear from them again? Feels like a karmic already. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just sensing. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Empress energy here. Nine of cups underneath the deck. Okay. I'm going to lean towards no. However. Yeah, choose a new direction. So I think it is more the second thing I said. All right. I'm going to lean more towards no. However, again, with the caveat of this is a general reading. So remember, there's, you know, qu quite a few Geminis that are going to be watching this placement. So here's the caveat. So this is how you can tell, like, if this is your person that I'm talking about. Like, if you've just met someone and you're you're kind of into each other, that sort of thing, this, this one probably is not for you. So maybe check your Venus or your rising or your moon. If, if however, you have been very, like, kind of uh, back and forth with someone, there just seems to be obstacles. Um, there seem to be, like, communication, then none, then too much impulsiveness, it, it, things like that. It's like, no, I feel like there's a no here. All right. Five of swords. I feel like someone is just too either combative in their own demeanor. Like they may just have like too many demons they're fighting within themselves to take on like one more uh, karmic situation or something like that, all right? Because I feel like with the Empress, it's not too far in the deck there that you are more like the nurturing type. So I can see why there's been like an attraction because this person definitely needs like a nurturing person in their life, but yet they won't allow like that to happen because they just have too many, I feel like they have too many karmas, quite frankly. Um, I mean, I don't want to like, you know, I'm not trying to attack your person and, and say they're so terrible. They have all these, you know, car, you know, I don't, I don't mean it to sound like that, but I, I in a way though, I do, I, I feel like they have a lot of, a lot of karmas that they, they are facing and that it's, since you are more empress energy and wanting to nurture, but the thing is we got to be careful, like how we nurture because if it's not doing any good <laughs> you know there's a certain point then where we just need to sort of walk away and you know accept that hey you know i i've done what i can but you know at some point you know we got to just do what we can and then let it go and then it's up to them to grow or to, you know, we've planted the seed, in other words, you know, and if it takes root and grows great in, in maybe in time, this person takes some of that beautiful energy and does something with it, right? Maybe all of a sudden it'll sprout, you know, maybe four years from now or something like that. And maybe they change or, you know, something along those lines. But I feel like right now, uh, this is most likely not the best situation and I feel like it's one that, like, to not step in and try to save. Um, I think that this person just has their own obstacles to overcome. And that some of those two might be, like, anger issues, all right, severely, all right. And, yeah, this is kind of walking on eggshells because this person's, like, impulsive and things like that. So I would say no, it's probably more likely like you will not hear from this person again. Um, if you do, I feel like that it's, 
it's so a, a situation that necessarily doesn't need to come back around is what I'm getting. Because I feel like, because the judgment card is about bringing something back to life. <laughs> but I, I feel like the advice is don't do that. I feel like it's Pandora's box. Because the Ten of Swords is saying, no, let this is exhausted itself. Even though there's this emotional investment, it's time to go find your Nine of Cups. And there's your cup. There's See, the, the Eight of Cups, there's a missing cup here. So it's heading towards the Nine of Cups, which is more of a wish fulfillment card. There, There's your Ace, your, your, your cup right there that's missing is kind of improving upon your own like heart chakra and health here. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So eh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's that one again, it may not be everyone's reading. So, you know, again, check Venus or moon or rising or something along those lines, if that does not resonate. Uh, okay. So we are on to cancers. All right, cancers. Let's see. Tell me about cancers. Will they be hearing from the one that's on their mind? Will they be hearing from this person again? Okay, meditation brings answers. Peaceful resolution. Not the right time. Okay, so interesting. And then in the near future. Okay, so there. This is this one's sort of a iffy one. So we'll get the tarot, obviously, and see what's going on. Um, I would say right now, it it may not be the right time to contact this person or to try to instigate a peaceful resolution with this person like soon you know it'll be more good timing or something like that but like right now isn't the time to aim for resolving something with this person possibly okay so meditate that'll bring you the ant that always always this this trumps tarot readings all the time all right when we meditate, we, we get our answers. All right. If we sincerely, you know, um, be still and ye shall know, right? If we sincerely do that, then we get our, our answers. Okay. So let's see what's going on for answer, please. All right. Are they going to, will this person, will they hear from them again? Will they hear from this person again? please. Oof. All right. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a very, uh, this is the past here, so that doesn't look too great. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh. See, that's definitely meditation bringing answers. Some kind of enlightenment or something or other. Okay. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be sending messages and like the other person is, is like avoiding them. So maybe saying like, oh, I didn't see those or I don't know, something like that. Yeah, for most of you, I, I don't think it's a hard no, which most of these aren't going to be because I'm not going to give a hard yes or no in a general tarot reading anyway. All right. But I will be upfront about which one it's leaning toward more. I would say yours is leaning more towards not hearing from them. And it's, you know, again, though, we have not the right time. So that to me, this one has the, the caveat of right now. All right. So in the near future, you may Okay, that's possible. But I get the feeling, I have the feeling by then, like you won't um, be as invested as thinking about them as, as now, if you are like invested in thinking about this person. I feel like you are kind of undergoing like a, like a divine intervention here, quite frankly. And it's like, so even if you did hear from like this person, hmm, I, I feel like you 
are going to feel like, no, it's not the right time after all. And so like, if let me put it this way. If you are sending out the messages to this person, I feel like they're going to be in avoidance. Okay. If they are the one that is contacting you, then I feel like you are going to be more in avoidance. And because you've had some sort of epiphany of what this brought in before. And I mean, that wasn't good. It looks like you've been, you, you like waited and waited and waited on this person to um, kind of get out of their like victim mentality. And I feel like by the time, if there is communication, I feel like by that time, which pro possibly, then it's like, it's not going to be something that you even want to entertain. And I feel like you don't feel that now, but like that would be the case. All right. Uh, so no, I feel like this is more of a, not at, not for a while anyway. If anything, there could possibly be something in the next three months or something along those lines. But again, I just feel like this, this isn't going to hold the, mm, the weight that it does now anyway. Okay. So let me get one, um, Oracle card for you guys. Yeah, be here in the here and now. I like that message. Yeah, the sun at the bottom of the deck, like like um, cleansing energy here, positivity, things like that. Yeah, because the here and now card, she's sitting on an egg. Eggs are metaphors, right, for new life, you know. Um, and we have the past over here, so the sign that says past and the sign that says future. And she's hovering in between. So it's like not thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, just being in the... The here and now is is definitely good advice, I would say, for sure. Because I feel like in the here and now, which that is the energy of this reading, all right, because this is the past, this is the current, all right, where we are now. In the here and now is where you have the peaceful resolution and the epiphany and the divine intervention, you know, and the angelic help. So that's, that's definitely a message for you guys. Okay. So now that was Cancer. We are on to Leo. Leo. All right, Leo, the one on your mind. Are you going to hear from them again? We're going to just pull some angel answer cards. This could be something that's a completely different message, or it may pertain to the tarot cards we're going to pull. But I am going to get your main answer more via the tarot cards, most likely. Okay, so what is the message for Leos at this time, please? So our subject matter today is will they hear from their person again. Okay. So you have let go, communicate clearly, and perfect timing. And what's at the bottom of perfect timing is to ask for help from others. So this could mean like more like divine, you know, angels or something like that. All right. Or actually like people you may know, like, hey, I haven't heard from so-and-so for a while. Have you, you know, something like that. All right. So it could be either or for you. Uh, okay. So let's get a little bit on this. So nothing super clear coming out of these as far as um, a definite answer. So let's get to the tarot anyway. And let's see the one that is on your mind, Leo, will you hear from them again? The one on Leo's mind, will they hear from them again? tough one. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, I feel like, yes, I, oh, yeah. Okay. I was just, I, I pulled, I took a peek at the card right after this and yeah, kick of cups. I feel like, yes, you will. Um, I think things are a little bit 
at a standstill right now, but I, I would say yes. I do feel like you will hear from this person again. Okay, so... I think this person likes to party. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Or you do or somebody does. I don't know. This combination can be like overindulgence um, in all kinds of ways. Uh, okay. So that's showing up in the near future. It doesn't have to mean that. I mean, obviously, you know, that's not all it means. It, but there, there is definitely um, a little element here of somebody who likes to maybe go out and have a lot of drinks or somebody who likes to party or, you know, something like that. Right. Um, if, if, if that's not like the case and this can just mean they definitely, you know, want to have some kind of fun with you or see you again or something like that, but they're not really super clear on like their feelings yet. Although I think that could change. They might develop into stronger feelings in the future. So I would say, yes, I, I feel like you will definitely, um, well, again, it's a general reading, but from what I'm seeing from the cards, you will definitely hear from this person again. It may be a little ways off, but not too, too far. Okay. Um, and if you're dating them now, then I think it'll just like continue. So yes, you will continue hearing from this person. But if this is someone from like the way back or someone that you're curious about, then yes, I think I feel you will, but it may be, um, could be in this current energy or it could be within like the next, uh, three weeks, three months tops, something along those lines. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to figure out like what's going on here. Cause that's, that's an interesting base to come from because this is very uh, kind of crappy energy in the past. Um, hmm. I'm going to get a couple hidden feelings cards for, for your reading. Okay. What's going on with this, um, King of Cups. All right. What's going on with this King of Cups? I am afraid to contact you. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah, and it, there's something going on here because, yeah, this is, this is a uh, strange turnabout. All right. They will, though. I'm starting to understand our connection. Okay, so, and that makes sense too, because we go from Page of Cups to King of Cups. So that is a graduation, you know, of like understanding, putting more into something. So I'm going to say yes, absolutely. I can't, you know, get exact details of what's occurred between you guys in the past. Um, I'm surprised it taking like a more positive turn like this because this looks, mm, mm, I don't know, um, like not so great. Okay. Uh, and it could, maybe that, that's it. Maybe this was just like a really bad date you know, or something like that. You know, they, they took you to dinner and forgot their wallet or, you know, so I don't know, something like that. Right. Um, either that, or if this is a long-term thing, it's, it's just, it was kind of a crappy past, you know, but it does look like things are a little lighter in the future. So, um, and definitely I do see a graduation from page of cups to king of cups here. So I'm going to go with yes on yours. Okay. Uh, let's see. So the let go is probably let go of the past. Like whatever was was sort of like being tossed around in the past that, that just didn't feel very conclusive or didn't feel very um, positive. The, something will let go about that. Communicate clearly from here on out. And I feel like it's perfect timing for things to, to look forward to like more of a positive future. Okay. Okay, Virgo. All right. The one that you are thinking of. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a definite one. Definite right there. Okay. You do have compromise at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I'm just going to go with these. They came out right away and we'll get to the, to the tarot and confirm what, uh, what's going on there. Okay. So what I was going to say is this reading is about, we are wondering if the person you are thinking of, if they are, if you are going to hear from them again. So we do have, it's up to you. And then we have a yes. Okay, so it's up to you can mean like the energy we put forth into something as far as trust, faith, positivity, belief, you know, the, um, uh, what do I want to say? Um, visualizing, you know, all those types of things. All right, it's up to you. And either that or it means literally like it's up to you, 
like to possibly find this person again or, you know, locate them, find them on Facebook or reach out to them, you know, something like that, especially with compromise here. For some of you, that would be a specific message, not all of you, but it's up to you if you do want to see this person again. Uh, but there may be something about like you con contacting them and maybe there's something you guys can like kind of work out or compromise on. Okay, so let's see though. Let's get the tarot and get a little more specific. Okay, tell me about Virgo, please. Tell me about Virgo. Virgo, will you hear from the person you are thinking of again? I keep seeing Scorpio, so there may be a Scorpio, but the thing is that card also means coming back around. All right, so it could definitely be someone coming back around, maybe around Scorpio season, which isn't too far away. All right. Um, okay, tell me about Virgo, please. The one they are thinking of, will they hear from them again? Okay, we have Sagittarius here as well. Cancer energy. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess yes on this one already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I could, I could, I, yeah, I was figuring it was going to be a yes for sure. Okay. Yeah. You have the sun card here. So with a lot more optimism, I think your person in the recent past, like they, I don't, I, I feel like they, it's almost like a find, go find yourself journey. They may have been on like one of those. Or maybe you were, you know, I, I don't know, some, or maybe you both were something along those lines. But it's like, it does feel more like this person felt like guided to sort of try something or find something like of meaning in their life. All right. And I feel like the timing for you guys just possibly wasn't right. You know, like it wasn't working out because it's, it's not that you couldn't fulfill that for them. I don't mean that. It's, it's just sometimes it's not like a person that can fulfill that that missing part of us so I feel like your person just kind of went through some things or needed to try to find themselves or you know course correct in some way something along those lines I feel like they're they they have like this um more positive energy is what I'm seeing with the three of cups and chariot card uh definitely feeling more um like wanting to have fun go out, reunite. I feel like they'd swing by and pick you up kind of thing with the chariot card. Uh, also, yeah, I do. I feel like this person, you will hear from them again and it's genuine. Six of Cups is a very genuine card. So I do feel like it will be a genuine reaching out or if it's you that's doing the reaching out, uh, I do feel it's genuine, you know, that sort of thing. All right. And I feel there's a definite, definite yes here and a definite positive energy around potential. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily mean, yes, this person is coming back to be like the love of your life or anything like that. Those are different questions, right? But what I'm looking at is like, will they, you know, come back or will you hear from them again? You know, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go with absolutely yes. And I do feel like there is positive energy that is like sort of like uh, blanketing, you know, this, this reading. Okay. So that one's pretty short. Uh, to the point. <laughs> that's a yes. Okay. So that's Virgo. So, okay. Tell me about Libra, please. So we are looking into, will Libra hear from their person again? Okay. Are they coming back around? Okay. Abundance, success, and get more information. Okay. Hmm. So this might be a separate message for you just in general. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get the tarot cards now and we're going to get a little more specific because I'm not sure if like this is about your current or our current subject matter. 
because I've been telling all of the readings prior and I just didn't get a chance to with this one because it came out so quickly that this I'm using these cards as a general message for you that may or may not relate to the subject matter at hand. So this could be like a different type of message for you. All right, we're going to check with the tarot now about the actual question of if you will hear from this person again. But there may be a generalized message here for you of like, uh, something could be, there could be something like a very abundant, successful opportunity around you now or coming in to get more information about. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Libra. Tell me about Libra. All right, will you hear from the person on your mind again? All right, will you hear from them again? Libras, please. Will you hear from the person on your mind? Will you hear from them again? Hmm. We've got some pretty decent cards here. What's going on? Yes. Okay. I'm going to say yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's very similar to Virgo's reading. So if you're watching both because you're cuspy, I'm going to say yes again. <laughs> okay. Uh, and they, it looks positive. Okay. So will you hear from your person again? I see there's definitely a yes. Um, we also have like a little bit of a graduation here going from a page to a night. So more interest. If you've just started dating someone and you're wondering like if you're going to like hear from them again, like, oh, I wonder if they're going to ask me out for another date or if, you know, that kind of thing. Definitely. Yes. And like, Definitely, this could be like your person kind of thing. All right. Um, well, not, I'm not going to say definitely because it's a general reading, but uh, the cards are looking good in that respect. Okay. If this is somebody new that you've just started um, meeting. Yeah. And get more information. That's interesting. Yeah. So I feel like you... Um, Also, too, like anyone you're dating now that you're like sort of like, eh, I don't know, you know, kind of thing, like get more information, like like spend more time. You know, I, I feel like, yeah, <laughs> like this could be really good. <laughs> OK, so there's that message, too, because this has a newer feel to me. Um, although it's possible, it could be someone from the way, way back. So let me put it this way. I don't I don't get the vibe from this reading. Like if you're currently like in an on off relationship or a very trying period where you've just broken up with someone and it's like, oh, my God, I don't know. Are we done? You know, it's like, ah, I don't I don't think this this reading is yours. All right. You might want to check rising or Venus or moon, actually, uh, for that, because this feels either new or it feels like it's somebody from like the way back or something like that. All right. Um, but this is a definite yes. I see a lot of happiness here. I think there's some good cards here. Um, I feel like just like an abundant feeling with the 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles with this also successful. Let me see what the get more information card is. Although I think it's, you know, about like the connection. That's what I feel. Because the Seven of Swords can sometimes be like the spy card. <laughs> and it's like, like stealthily, you know, oh, you know what? For some of you, yeah, this could be somebody that maybe at work or something that you're interested in. Mm hmm. OK, that could definitely be it, too. Like stealthily trying to find out like what their status is or if they are available. And yeah, I feel like this could be, uh, they will definitely be interested. Okay. For that. Okay. So let me, let me see anything else about get more information for, uh, Libra. Okay. Yeah. The sun, uh, just be positive. Yeah. What you don't see is like, there's a lot of like optimism here is what I am seeing. So 
Yeah, I feel like there's, you'll definitely hear, hear from this, I mean, from what I'm seeing, definitely hear from this person again. And there's a lot of optimism here. Uh, with the get more information, uh, specifically also, if it is a Leo, all right, or you may find out they are a Leo by getting that information, okay? Uh, or it's just saying, like, um, get more information about this. You're going to be very happy is what I see. Because it's like, right now, I feel like you are sort of like, oh, I don't know, are they single? Are they this? Do they like me? Do they not? You know? that kind of thing it's like well kind of stealthily try to find out it's like i think you'll be like in light you know you'll be happy the sun shines light the light on things okay um especially like if you don't know now like you can't see what the answer is yes I, you're gonna be happy with the answer okay so that's libra we are on to we're on to scorpio okay tell me about scorpio please tell me about scorpio Okay, that was easy enough. <laughs> you have trust at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. Oh, you got four. Okay, I thought it was oh, not more than that. I hope no. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have you're ready. Compromise recovery in the near future. Okay, so this is a general message for you, Scorpio, and we're going to get to the tarot now to get to your um, answer about if you are going to hear from someone again. So this could be in relation to that, or this could just be a completely separate general message for you. I didn't get a chance to lay that uh, that premise out before the cards started coming out. So, um, and you do have trust at the bottom of the deck as well. All right. So recovery, compromise, you're ready in the near future here. Okay, so... There could be a situation that just sort of works out here and then you're ready for like some something new. Just trust that there is going to be something different in the near future. Okay, so let's see. Let's get to the specific question for Scorpios out there who want to know if they are going to hear from the person that is on their mind again. All right, so Scorpios. Will they hear from the person that is on their mind again? Okay, so it looks like somebody, yeah, you kind of thought it might be going somewhere, but it's like, eh. All right, maybe there was a little bit of a third party. We've got Sagittarius showing up here. Fire or fire energy. Or that's you just being patient. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to say yes with the nine of wands here. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um... But yeah, the hermit highlighting this though. So here's the thing. I feel like, yes, Scorpio, I do feel like you will hear from, because that is a yes card for me in, in what I am doing with this spread. But the thing is though, I feel like there's like something like not to like, pin all hopes on with that situation though is, is what I see all right I feel like you um I think I feel like you've been like because the temperance card is is like patience it's um I'm getting the word virtue um which is not a word like that I really use a lot in my vernacular you know so but I'm, I'm getting like virtuous from the temperance card here which is not usually my go-to with the temperance card. So there's something here that I feel like this person, yes, I do feel like they will, like you will hear from them again, but I feel like what they're bringing with them is a whole lot of stuff, you know, in a sense. Okay. So, and it's a knight of wands, which is very in and out energy. 
So yeah, I feel like you'll hear from them again, but it is the Knight of Wands, so they could just as easily take off again or leave you in that disappointed energy again, you know, kind of thing. So, I mean, you know, I don't want to like totally, you know, um, make it negative or anything like that, but I do feel like the Hermit is shining the light on this for a reason, because the Hermit's about like showing you something, like the wisdom of something. So I feel like the fact that the Hermit is highlighting like, hey, Scorpio, yes, this person will be back, but it's like, um, what, you know, they keep bringing like this sort of, um, like a lot of issues or problems or, um, not issues necessarily, but like, I don't know, defensiveness, you know, that, that kind of thing. And then they're off again and then they're back and then they're off again, you know, kind of thing. All right. So I'm going to go with, yes, this person will be back around. I feel like it's more, um, important though, to just stay in the energy of allowing yourself to be divinely guided as to does this match your sort of independent mm, persona? of like building yourself independently because it looks like you want to build yourself here Scorpio uh, to someone who doesn't want to be broken hearted over knight of wands types you know so I would just keep working on your yourself and your inner strength and your your outer world as well as as far as like your physical uh, what you are building in the physical world as well as your spiritual world here And the thing is, too, we have, like, downgrade. We've got a king of wands, but they, they're coming back as a knight of wands. So it's not like they started off as a knight of wands and are graduating to a king of wands. They're actually, like, possibly getting, like, worse in that way, you know? So, yeah, I feel like this person just brings, like, uh, third parties or, or suspicion or, you know, things like that that, that doesn't really suit the demeanor. Uh, that you want to aim for at this time. Yeah, you're ready in the near future to trust. Yeah, opportunity. Oh my God, look, and the next card, seriously, there's something better. Listen to your intuition. Oh my God, and then boom, big happy changes. Yeah, that, that and see, I, I swear, I didn't even see those, those cards, right? So, um... Yeah, I, I feel like, like, compromise with that situation, but you're ready, like, for something else in the near future, all right? Like, a better, uh, like, situation of someone who's going to be more, at least of a king of wands, you know, for, for you or something like that is what I see. Not downgrading themselves, right? Um, okay, so that was Scorpio. We're on to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's see what the message is for you. So Sagittarius, I'm going to get some Oracle cards here for your overall message for today. And then we're going to use a tarot for the specific question of will you hear from the one that you are thinking of again? All right, so what is the message for Sagittarius? Okay both okay Ooh, okay improving health compromise and within the next few months take action all right so let's see what that is about okay so my guess is probably yes on this if it is pertaining to your question but we're going to get to the tarot to get a specific answer for you uh if it's not about this person there may be something else going on in your life to really um definitely work on your heart chakra okay uh that would definitely like help improve your overall health i feel in many ways also to like compromising the right things but not compromise is not necessarily the right word i always feel for this card i think it's it's just more about like what does need to be balanced all right like what do we need to possibly if the scales are like this, you know, what do we need to possibly take out of a something to bring them to be a little more balanced? So that could be like bad habits in that little scale, or it could be over communicating, you know, in that scale or, you know, all kinds of different things. Okay. To bring it more to a level balance. Okay. And then we have within the next few months. So that could be a literal answer to your question that yes, you will hear from this person within the next few months, but like the situation's improving and you guys will come to some sort of balance. 
Okay, but let's see what the tarot has to say. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. The one that they are thinking of, will they hear from their person? The one that is on their mind again. Sagittarius. Will they hear from their person again? Some of you may, it may specifically be a Libra also, because I have seen the scales going by a couple times. All right. Sagittarius, please. Oh, wow. All right. So in the recent past, there could be some energy of somebody, this masculine kind of energy going, oh, damn, I, I, I blew that up or something like that. So they, they may be in their head about that. Oh, they might already be communicating with you. Possibly. Let's see. Or maybe you, you might have even blocked blocked somebody. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Yeah, they really like regret something. But I'd like I'm not gonna go to the feel sorry for them yet situation because I mean maybe, you know, maybe they just kind of screwed up, <laughs> you know. But if it was bad, bad, like they were forceful or they were, you know, aggressive or you know, abusive in any way, yeah, block that shit. Right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Um, so yours is kind of open-ended, but I'm going to lean towards yes. Okay. With the magician here. And the fact that we do have the eight of wands here. My question for you is, do you want to hear from, I mean... Are you just wanting to hear from this person because you kind of don't have anything else going on right now? So at least that's something. Because I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is not like that. Whatever they did, it's kind of a little messed up. Or maybe they were they. Although you both, okay. So here, here's the thing. All right, I'm getting a most likely there will like you will hear from this person again and i'm really basing that on this okay within the next few months because this isn't a definite for me because this could just mean like manifesting new things or new opportunities also but so i'm gonna leave it sort of open-ended on yours but the thing is i do definitely see a masculine here who like if there's like a marriage involved or marriages, maybe you both are married or something like they, you know, if they didn't do anything that was like a total jerk, like they weren't like abusive or mean or anything like that to you, then I feel like this person's just like going, oh man, I really blew it. Or they, they're feeling guilt. They're feeling a lot of guilt, you know, something like that going on. All right. But I do feel like you will probably hear from this person again. Okay. Um, Others of you, I mean, your person's definitely feeling bad for something. But I, again, I'm very cautious in saying that because if they were like bad, bad, like abusive bad or something like that, of course, they're going to feel bad about it. But that doesn't necessarily, so so what? You know, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to change or they're going to do things differently next time around or anything like that. Usually that kind of stuff will just be a repeated pattern at some point or another, sometimes sooner than you realize. Or maybe the little time goes by, but that comes up again. So I, I would say just like move on, improve your own like heart health, you know, with, with uh, your heart chakra, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, let, maybe this is more like justice, like let a karmic cycle be done. All right. Kind of deal. And like, you'll, you'll be healed from this, like within the next, you know, few months or maybe much sooner if it's like more of an abusive situation, if it's not, and I do need to address that because of these cards. All right. If it's not though, then I would just say, yeah, you're going to hear from this person again, but I do feel like you, ah, I feel like you're not ready yet to really work with them in, in that way right now. So I think you will eventually. And I do feel like you guys both are in kind of a similar energy, if it's not that abusive thing, right? Um, in a similar energy or a similar problem or hurdle or something like that. And that's probably why you guys connected to begin with. 
like maybe they needed to leave somebody, maybe you needed to leave somebody or something like that. So this isn't a reading for everyone out there. Uh, so you may want to check your moon or rising or something along those lines if this doesn't resonate. Uh, and it's like, I don't know. I feel like you will be manifesting new things in the future. Okay, I'm going to get a couple hidden messages here just to see what else, if there's anything else. Okay. I, yeah, see, man, yeah, on a, this person is unable to give you all that you deserve. And look, I mean, look at how many cards are in here. There, there's like, it's huge amount of cards, and that's the card that comes out. And this is the hidden truth. Yeah, they definitely, like, feel like they hope you can forgive them. Okay, but again, I would be super cautious if it was, like, actual you know, terrible behavior or something like that, because of course they're going to feel bad and be in regret, but that doesn't necessarily mean they wouldn't do something like that again. All right. Maybe, you know, but mm, yeah, I'd be careful with that. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's what I have there for Sagittarius. Okay. Capricorn, please tell me about Capricorn. So we're going to get a general message for you first, Capricorn, and then with the tarot, we will look specifically at, at if you will hear from your person again, the one that is on your mind. Oh, okay. We do have a recovery at the bottom of the deck, so there may be something that you guys forgive, move on from, and recover from. If you believe, yeah, not right now, though. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, so right now is not the good, the, the right time. So I think in the past you were sort of like, yeah, I, I believe in this, or I think this can happen with us, or something like that. Right now, it just may not be the right time, uh, and it may have something to be tied in with, like, forgiveness. And it doesn't necessarily mean, like, them like what they did or something like that there may be a completely different situation in your life that somehow is more you know causing a blockage in other areas so it's like but I do feel like you will recover from this situation but let's see specifically with the tarot because again this might just be a general message for you in some capacity okay so let's see for Capricorn please the one that is on their mind will they hear from this person again Mm, for some of you, it could be a Gemini or a Pisces. Will Capricorn hear from this person again? Will Capricorn hear from this person again? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Not the right time. Okay. Intriguing. Oof. Ew. Hmm. Well, this is definitely healing, forgiveness, recovery, all those things. I'm going to lean towards, even though this is like a positive card, so, so, Here's the thing. I don't want to give you like, you know, oh, this is a positive card, but I'm going to give you a negative answer. Okay. So I don't want you to think that it's like, I'm trying to be negative with your reading. All right. Here's the thing. I think it's, it is a positive reading, but as to the answering specifically, if you'll hear from this person again, eh, I feel like it's, yeah. Okay. I, I I was like, oh, I was just going to change my mind because the next card over is eight of wands, but then yeah, five, five of pentacles. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to go with, I mean, you might like hear from them, but as far as like really reconnecting with them again, I feel like, no, um, I feel like things like, like it'll fall on deaf ears with this person is what I'm seeing. I feel like they're, they're way too, um, mm, I feel like they're like, when they're done, they're done, you know, and no, you know, like, like, uh, what's the word I'm like, like stubborn, like really, really stubborn. Okay. So, so it could possibly be like an Aries masculine, maybe a Scorpio masculine, maybe, 
all right, with the Emperor, King of Swords, even though ne neither of those are Scorpio cards, but sometimes Scorpio men can, um, because they are so uh, water sign energy like that, they uh, sometimes can deem that as a weakness at some point in their life, if that gets, if they feel too much heartache. So then they just shut it down. <laughs> All right. And now they're this way, you know, kind of thing where they, they're a little bit controlling with their, their feelings and stuff like that. So I'm getting that could be two. We have Virgo here as well. Um, Aquarius is showing, but like if it's an Aquarius, I mean, it's possible, you know, I would say, but um, again, just the overall vibe of the reading just doesn't feel like it's uh, someone that you would really benefit from having come back around or hearing from again anyway. I feel like also they could be a little untruthful about their marriage status or like their separation or divorce or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, so, I mean, it's possible, I guess, that you may hear from this person again. My general feeling would be no. All right. But for those of you that may hear from this person again, I feel like it's it's just, yeah, not the right time for this to, like, go somewhere anyway. So maybe it's better to just forgive the situation uh, and do your best to, like, heal. Because the star card is, is many times also about healing from situations, all right? And then having faith in new things, okay? Uh, and, like, not, not letting this be the, you know standard for what's to come all right like trust that there's new things trust that you will recover you know from this and yeah within the next few weeks recovery and then ask for help from others okay so that like getting into more spiritual uh help you know this can be like asking your angels or your guides or something along those lines all right so that's what i am seeing there okay so that is um Capricorn. All right. So we are on to Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So let's see what's going on for you. We are going to first pull just an overall general message for you. And then we will look at the specific question of if you will hear from the one that you are thinking of again. Okay. Well, we have let go coming out right away. All right. Uh, it's up to you to sort of just like let go of the situation. Let go, let God, you know, kind of thing. Uh, okay. And choose a new direction. All right. So choose a new direction does have two people in the card. And it's oftentimes a card of needing to find like a new direction to take the situation. All right. So again, this may, re may apply to this that we're going to look at with the tarot in a moment, or it may be some other area of your life to think of like, a new guidance, if you will. So what? maybe something hasn't been working for you. So choose a new way with your person to look at things and possibly just kind of let go a little bit of the situation. Okay, Aquarius. So let's see what is going on as far as the specific subject matter, which is the one that you are thinking of. Will you hear from them again? Okay. Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Will they hear from their person again? The one that they are thinking of. For some of you, it could have could have been like a work connection from a while back or something along those lines. Let's see. Will you hear from your person again? Okay. All right. All right. Scorpio showing up possibly in the recent past or wondering if you should like reach out to this person again in the past. Okay. You do have the Wheel of Fortune and Two of Cups showing up in the current energy. All right. So yeah, maybe like reminiscing or something along those lines, maybe wanting to bring something like that back again. That's usually what like the death card means. Like um, after something just didn't work, it's like trying a new direction and it does work. Okay. So there you go. Yeah, Knight of Cups. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Okay. With the cherry card here for sure. All right. Um, and, and Knight of Cups also. And I feel like it may not be that long. Okay. For you. I don't, I don't think it's going to be like a long time or something like that. In fact, things might even already be sort of in motion in some way. Um, so I'm going to say yes. I feel this is pretty definite here. Uh, some of you too, it could like literally sometimes choose a new direction is be, like about moving. All right. Like literally, um, because you do have the wheel of fortune, the chariot card, which both of those could mean that. So, you know, there's, there's that energy as well. We also have Scorpio, Virgo and cancer uh, on the board. So if it's, you know, if those signs mean anything to you, then th that's even more confirmation. But I think these cards are here more as major arcanas to show the situation. So that could just be coincidence if that is the sign of your person. Because the Hermit is really highlighting here in the near future, the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups to me personally as a reader is a sincere energy. All right. It is someone like coming toward you and like sincerely, maybe they are apologizing or wanting to talk to you again, you know, something along those lines. And the chariot card to me is a positive card of a yes, of like breakthroughs, all right, victory. So it's, I do feel like that um, there is a breakthrough victory uh, energy with this. Plus, I mean, you have the two of cups in the center of this reading. So I do feel like there is sincere feeling. So what I'm getting, so like if you had like, you know, a total jerk or you just had a total um, terrible time with someone, eh, I, don't, I don't feel like this is probably it, right? As far as you're, it's probably a different reading for you. Go check a moon or a Venus or something like that. But if it's been like a fairly copacetic, um, truly connecting, caring about one, of, one another sort of thing, yes, I do feel this person will be back around again. If this is someone you just met, like you, you came off of like some pretty, you know, harder energy or something along those lines and you are willing to let go of that situation, then I think that's what turns into a new future for you. So there's that message too, because you did have, you do have the let go and it's up to you to choose a new direction. So that could be too, like if there's anything like too, um, melancholy, difficult, you know, sort of thing. It's like, let go of that situation. Let the wheel turn into like a new connection. And wow, here they come. Okay. So there's that aspect of this reading too. So either way, it's positive. All right. From what I can see and a good result. Okay. Uh, all right. So that is, um, that is Aquarius. So we are on to Pisces. All right, what do we have for Pisces, please? So we're going to get a general message for you first, Pisces, and then we're going to get into the specific question with the tarot, which is the one that you are thinking about. Will you hear from them again? All right, but right now we're going to get a general message with the angel answer cards that may or may not apply to this specific question. All right. All right. What is the message for Pisces that they need to hear at this time, please? Okay. Oh, hello. All right. Listen to your intuition is at the bottom of the deck. So you have ask your angels, helpful people, and romance. So I like it when this combination comes out because I feel like the helpful people are like your guides and angels, right? So it's saying, ask us, we're going to be helpful. <laughs> so I like that combination. I think that's a really good combo to come out. So definitely spend some time asking sincerely and heartfelt. Don't just like, you know, ramble some, you know, robotic prayer or, you know, something like that. It's like really sincerely ask your angels. It's like they want to be of help for you. All right. And then you have romance coming in. So here's the, here's the thing before uh, I'm going to, I'm going to pull the tarot cards now to pull the specific answer for you as far as the one you are thinking of, if you will hear from them again, but it's like one message that I see right away is, especially if you are more like single or something along those lines is that it's like, um, it may not be about this situation that we're about to read. 
all right it's it's more of like if you're single and you're kind of looking for like a really great connection possibly not focusing on like past connections or something like that and seeing you know asking for real divine help here to bring like a really great romantic partner into your life okay for some of you i'm getting uh, gemini all right gemini coming in possibly but let's see all right tell me about pisces as far as the specific question the one that they are thinking of will they hear from that person again I, if it's an Aquarius, I would say yes, regardless of what comes out in the tarot spread. All right. So that may be specifically for somebody out there. Yes, you will hear from them again if it is an Aquarius. Okay. Tell me about their person, please. The one they are thinking of, Pisces. Will they hear from this person again? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hello. Yep. Hello. <laughs> hello, King of Wands with your Ace of Cups. <laughs> with your with your nice wand and a cup. <laughs> Why thank you. That's very polite of you to, to clean up after yourself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um ah, this one's tricky. All right. Cuz it's interesting. This is actually a no for me. All right. Um but I think it's going to be a yes. So, it's interesting. So, some of you though, all right. I will say this. If you've been dealing though with someone who just really isn't like showing you effort, they are not, um, you know, like moving forward with you. They're not making any time for you, that sort of thing. I feel like this is like let go of this situation and let a new opportunity come in. All right. For sure. All right. Because th that's a weird thing. Technically, to me, this uh, from what I assigned the cards to be, this is a no technically that you will not hear from this person again. But since it's such a like positive card, it's like, it could just be saying like, no, you may not hear from that person again, but there's like, like put, let this close out and there's going to be like this really great new opportunity for you coming in. Okay. So there's that message too. Cause yeah, if you've been like waiting on this person or, you know, wondering if you're going to hear from them again and you've put the effort, but they just don't, or they never really seem to put like proper effort you know, because who wants that? It's like, okay, so what? So you hear from them again, but it's like big deal if they're not really like making moves and strides towards you, right? So then in that case, I feel like there's a new opportunity as soon as you can like close the door on that other one, all right? Because what you don't see is that there may be like this like king wanting to come in to your energy here. But... All right. For some of you, though, I will say, even though it is a, like, no, it's still a positive card that there will be an opportunity for some kind of connection here. So my guess is it's not that person and it's somebody new. And that's why these cards came out as well. And that I happened to say that prior to the reading, right, coming out. Um, but, f but, you know, I don't want to give you a hard no on anyone from, like, the past either. Okay, even though it is kind of a no, um, I, I don't want to say it's a definite no, because it is a positive card. So let me see, um, let me get a little bit on like who you initially asked about. Okay, because again, I kind of feel like this is a new situation that would be coming in. So let me see if I can get a little bit more on who you asked about um, before. Yeah, interference coming out and what's this one? Okay. So an external party is intruding on this relationship. And then you have this friendship is leading to more. Interesting. So yeah, you may be talking with somebody like online or something like that, that wants to come forward. And maybe this person is interfering in moving forward in romance. And isn't that interesting how that lined up? 
<laughs> that these cards are right underneath this card. Hmm. Yeah, look, interesting. This rejection is actually divine protection. Okay, and firm boundaries. Yeah, okay, I'm going to stick with my my gut on this one and my just intuition on this one that I feel it's not about whether or not you hear from this past person or not, the one that's like on your mind. Um, it's more about developing something else here because I feel like with all those crappy cards that were at the bottom of the deck, let me see, are those still there or did I show? Oh, I shuffled, darn it. It was like, remember, like 10 of wands, four of cups, kind of uh, six of swords that, that I was showing at the bottom of the deck earlier. You can just use a 10 second button back and go back and look at those if you want. I feel like that situation, it just isn't coming together. So it's like the rejection is actually divine protection because this is what's coming in. <laughs> All right. Like really, really good, good something. This may be someone that you already know or someone that you meet and like they're a friend, but well, oh, hello. You know, it ends up being more than that because the world card is about closing out cycles and, and clearly doing that, clearly having that conversation queen of swords and then that seems to be what blossoms open the new opportunities for you okay so that's what i have for you pisces and i hope you uh, enjoyed your reading and thank you so much i'll see you guys soon